Hello, 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 everybody all around the world. Toby German here from Pangolin Photo Safaris. I hope you are all doing well. I can see you all popping onto the chat. We've got uh, Mike on the chat as well, helping me out. So Mike, if you could just give me a thumbs up, let me know that the sound is coming through okay. Um, we'll give it a couple of minutes and then hopefully uh, more people will come and join us. I see we've got about 30 odd people so far. Who have we got here so now? Uh, Walter, hello from the UK. Raf Scallion from the UK. Hello, my fellow Poms. How are you doing? I hope you're all not uh, baking. Better come to Africa, actually. It's slightly cooler. Um, and I think our buildings are slightly better equipped. 40 degrees C. Whoa. That's like uh, Choby in October. Um, righty ho. So welcome to the show. Um, welcome to the Water, Water Everywhere announcement show, I should say. Um, I am going to whisk you through what we're going to do today. So uh, let's add this to the stream. Uh, there we go. Water, water everywhere results show. Um, who else do we have here joining? Oh, we've got Aidan from South Africa. We have Gagul. Gagul, are you from uh, are you from India? Maybe I don't know. There we go. Fifty people here. I think it's time to start, isn't it? Okie dokie. Right. Let's get going. Uh, water, water everywhere. Just going to run you through um, everything that we're going to do if I'm um, in today's show. Right. Um, first of all, I'm going to run you through the 55 finalists very quickly again, in case you haven't seen them. They are all stunning, stunning images. So I think they're worth another view. I'm um, just going to quickly recap the prizes to show you what everyone is going to win. Um, we've got the People's Choice winner as well. Um, and then also, as a little bit of an added extra, I was getting lots of comments saying, please, can we see maybe the top 10 images um, that came through, not just the winners? So I've added in the top 10 images as well. So there's going to be five images that nearly made it to highly commended. Then there's going to be three highly commended, um, a runner up and a winner. Um, there we go. Just see, speaking what I was uh, what I was about to say there. OK, then I'm going to announce the winner. So. First of all, whilst we're waiting for a few more people to join us, we're going to run through the finalists, uh, so three or four minutes. And uh, if you'd like to put in your comments, tell me which one you think is the winner. And let's have a look at the end and then see which one it is. All you have to do is just describe it, uh, put it in there, and uh, let's see if you can guess which one has won it. I don't think you'll be able to, actually. It's a bit of a surprise one. So, uh, yeah, right. Let's get going with this, and uh, I shall shut up and you can enjoy it.
myself there we go um so there are the finalists again i will never get bored of watching those uh, those images go by some really 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 stunning images i just want to give you a bit of an insight as to the judging process it's another question that people have been asking us so what we do is we take the literally thousands of entries that we get for each um of the challenges and then i get all the photo hosts and everyone else to to sift through a batch each so i send them a several hundred and i say right out of these several hundred please go and choose your, your top 10 or top 15, maybe more if there are some great images. We then put those together. That makes the finalist list. So we, we whittle it down as much as we can down into the finalist list. Then I load it again and I send it out to all of the international judges who you see on the website, people like, I don't know, Mark Coverdean, Steve Perry, Will Bard Lucas, all of those guys. And we send it out to them. And most of them who are able to judge, some of them are obviously out of contact. They're out in the bush somewhere, so they can't get, get to the judging. But then they come back and they judge every single image that's in the finalists. Then we take the average score that all of the judges gave the, uh, the image as well. And then that dictates the order in which people are winning. So I hope that clarifies that a little bit. It is quite a process. Um, and sometimes it's really difficult um, to, to decide which ones should be included in the finalists. So I hope you appreciate what we uh, are able to present to you. OK, um, right. Here are the finalists. So um, just to remind you on the prizes, uh, People's Choice, we're going to announce that in a minute. That is a $1,000 voucher. Then we have the highly commended prizes. Those are each $1,000 as well. 
Um, and then we have the runner-up prize, which is a $2,000 Pangolin Photo Safaris voucher to use on a safari when you want to, when you can. Um, then the overall winner of the challenge wins a four-night stay at the Pangolin Chobi Hotel. Uh, that's for two people um, and is fully inclusive, um, all spending lots of time out on the photo boats with the photo host that you've been enjoying here on, uh, on YouTube. Um, all your drinks, all your meals, all your activities, park fees, everything. So let's move on to the uh, People's Choice winner, shall we? Okie dokie. So the winner, and this is basically the person who's managed to, to get as much attention onto their image as possible. Lots of people going out and voting. And the winner is Raf Badranath. Now, I've been watching Raf Scallion, and I'm wondering if Raf Scallion from the UK, Raf, if, if that's you, please say hello. And if it is you and you won, take a bow. Well done, Raf, if that's you. If you're watching later on, Raf, congratulations as well as well. So you get a $1,000 voucher. Right. As I promised, we're going to now move on to the top 10 images. Yes, it is Raf Scallion. Congratulations, everybody. Please give a round of applause to Raf uh, for winning his $1,000 voucher. Right. Um, in 10th place, as we move along, is this stunning image of the elephant trunk kicking up what looks like some beautiful golden water. Um, it might well be the Chobi, I'm not sure. But that's Ralph Matchy. Congratulations. You're in at number 10. Number nine, we have Emil Vessels from South Africa with this stunning wild dog leap. I love the trails, love the trails of water that this is uh, left behind during the leap. Um, wild dogs, not big fans of the water and they'll try and get through it as fast as possible, especially if it's a little bit crocodile infested. So that's obviously what's happening here. Um, Colin Fieldgate from the UK. Um, beautiful, beautiful image, uh, lovely composed. I love the, um, the, the the portrait nature of this as well. Lots of orange, orange sky matching the water as well. Um, works very well on social media. For those of you who enjoy your social media, anything to do with sunsets, always a winner. There we go, top tip. Um, completely different now, very monochrome. Here we go, Jonathan Stern from Uganda in at number seven with this uh, stunning uh, cormorant catching a, not sure what it is actually, if anyone knows that fish, please let me know. Is it from Uganda? Is it from somewhere else? I can't quite see what it is. I was gonna say barbel, but it's not. Um, anyway, you know the fish, there we go. Um, Dennis Stogsdill in at number six, another beautiful black and white image of a lioness and her cubs. Um, I particularly like the expression of the last cub here, right at the back. Nobody wants to be at the back, do they? So uh, yes, nervous is the best way to describe that. Okay, highly commended coming in here. I love this, the detail on this. Congratulations, Trix. It's a really, really cool image. Um, the fact that there are three droplets at the same time really works for it. Super close, lovely image. And I wonder if you zoomed in, if you'd be able to see the reflection of you in that droplet. I haven't actually had a look, so I'll have a look later on. That's a good point. Anyway, uh, congratulations, Trix. Voucher on the way to you. The next one is... Lucas Walter from Switzerland. Now, this is obviously not Switzerland. So um, I'm assuming it was somewhere slightly more exotic. Split level photography, super difficult in the water at sunset, keeping your nerve with a shark in front of you. Brilliant. That must have been super close. I haven't seen what lens that was, but that was, uh, that's very close. Um, cool image. Well done, Lucas. Really, really cool. Um, okay, on to um, highly commended here as well. Echo, how are you from the United States? Congratulations, Echo. Stunning, stunning moment. Um, to be able to get a hippo as it leaves the water like this is really difficult because hippos will porpoise in the water. For those of you who haven't seen a hippo charged, especially not charged at you, they will go in and out of the water. So getting this timing right, sometimes they just pop up because they run along the bottom and then they leap up. Um, so to get it in full power like this, great use of shutter speed to capture the water droplets going everywhere. Beautiful, beautiful image. Congratulations, Echo. Well done. Right. And then on to the runner up image. The runner up is going to get $2,000 voucher. However, I have a surprise for you because there is no runner up. We had a dead heat for first prize. Now, it's pretty unusual. We had like 40 judges judging and everybody judged the, the scores. And I got to tell you that the average worked out to three decimal places as being a complete match. I, I kind of toyed with the idea of sending it out for another vote. And I thought, well, you know what? No, 
what we're going to do is they are both going to win. So the winners are, and instead of winning a prize for two people, they each win one place at the Pangolin Chobi Hotel. So the prize is now a four night stay for one person at the Pangolin Chobi Hotel, but two people are going to win it. I hope you think that's fair. And this is in alphabetical order. I couldn't then decide who was going to be announced first. So then here we go, alphabetical order. And they're only two letters apart. They'll hardly be able to split them like that. Anyway, Darren McTee from the USA. Congratulations. You are one of our winners. A brilliant, brilliant image of a polar bear shaking off what is probably very, very cold water. Um, just, it looks like stars. It's remarkable. The amount of detail that you managed to get on the shutter speed and all of those droplets is really, really stunning. So congratulations, Darren. We look forward to welcoming you to the Chobi soon. And then this is the one I didn't think you would guess, but it is definitely, it's my favorite. I love this image. Um, Matt Pretorius, this has to be the happiest looking hippo in water I've ever seen. It is beautiful, slow shutter speed, managed to get the hippo bang in focus. Really, really lovely, lovely, lovely image. Congratulations, Matt. So you also, maybe you will turn up at the same time um, in the Chobi, but congratulations to both of you. And we look forward to welcoming you into the Chobi when you are able to travel to us. Righty-ho. So just remember, um, you can still enter, swap any images in any category, even if it's closed. So don't stop photographing. If you get a better water, water everywhere photograph, please go and swap it out, enter it in because then it will count towards your portfolio. That judging process is very involved, um, but it's well worth it in the end. Um, and then we have now the next category is open twos company. So to remind you, it's got to be two animals. It can be a group of animals as long as the focus is on two of them. So it could be a herd, but it could be two animals in the herd interacting. As long as your eye is drawn to it, the animals don't have to be the same species. It could be an interaction. It could be or it could be even a kill. If you get managed to get something like that, a moment of hunting. It could be a moment of uh, a parent animal with a child. It could be two adults, male and female. It could be a bit of a fight between two species. Lots and lots of things to photograph, but must be animal. So uh, please go ahead and enjoy this. It's closing on August the 31st. So you have plenty of time. I think that's the last slide. Yep. So um, all that is left for me is to wish you very, very well. I wish for the people in the UK that it cools down a little bit. We, if you want to come on Safari, you know where we are. We're going to put links down below. Mike will maybe put a link to our safaris in the comments now so you can go and have a look. Come and join us. The Chobi is magnificent at the moment. Super busy, but we do have some spaces left on some of our safaris this year. Um, and if you're planning for next year, believe me, it's filling up really fast. So please don't delay and get your safari booked in. Come and do some photography with us. So that's it from me. I hope you have enjoyed this show. Um, enjoy watching it over and over again. Share it with your friends. Please get as many people to, to join in the fun on the challenge. And I will see you again in uh, just under two months. Take care and thanks for watching.